The next tools we're going to look at is the normal extrude and the free extrude. They work very much like the transform tool, except they have slightly different functions. If you select some faces and choose normal extrude, it's going to give you a gizmo that's oriented along the normals, which would be very much like using the transform tool with auto fit and local space, except in this case, it does it by default. It's oriented along the normals and you don't have the full gizmo. You've got this little ring here that allows you to kind of move it freely in screen space. You can also scale it or scale it in along the local axis or move it. Like the transform tool, you can also commit the extrusion if you want to create a bevel for example. So once I hit commit extrusion, I can go ahead and now it's committed that geometry and it's allowing me to create something else as I manipulate this gizmo. Now if I wanted to scale it along a horizontal axis, I don't have that option again because this gizmo is a little bit limited. Let me hit escape to drop the tool. I'm going to undo just a few times here. And now let's choose free extrude. And it's almost identical to using the transform tool. Let's choose two main axis. Once more with all of these tools, if I choose auto fit and local space, it will always be oriented along the average normals of the selection. Let's go ahead and drop the tool and test that. Free extrude. There you go. So I'm going to hold the shift key just to spin it a bit. Like with a new addition to the transform tool, you can hit the enter key each time you want to create a successive extrusion. Escape. So that's a quick look at the normal extrude and the free extrude tools. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.